Hey guys! So today's video is going to be a little bit different for me. I'm going to be showing you, obviously if you clicked on the title of this, you know, I'm going to be showing you how I do my wavy, messy hair. Um, I know a lot of YouTubers are like, this was my most requested video. Um, and this was my most requested video, but there are only like 60 of you, so um, I'm going to say that like 10 people ask me how I do my hair like this. So I wanted to let you guys know, especially like what the tool is that I use because it's a little bit different. I don't use a curling iron for this. I do use a wand just slightly um, at the end. And I also included some products that I use. They're not necessary if you have, especially if you have like kind of wavy hair already, but if you have really straight hair like I do, then these are the products that I use to get the most out of my curls. Um, I was inspired to do this to my hair again. I've had the waiver for quite a while, but um, Leanne says here on YouTube did her um, wavy hair tutorial not too long ago. And I do mine slightly different, but whenever I watched that video, I was like, why haven't I used that on my hair in a while? So she's really inspired me to pull this product out again and use it some more, and I've been loving it recently. So if you want to see how I get my messy waves, um, then just keep watching. So this is my day three hair. Um, I'm just brushing it out. I did have it up in a ponytail while I was doing my makeup and everything. So as you can see, it's fairly greasy. So a couple of different products that I like to use when I'm doing my hair like this. This is the Bumble and Bumble Pret a Powder. Um, this is a dry shampoo and volumizer, so it's like half and half, and it is powder. So I just like to just dump that in my roots. You can also obviously use some dry shampoo um, if you would rather. And again, I just go like in the root area. And I know that you can leave it for a little bit and like kind of let it sit before you rub it in and brush it out and whatever, but I just kind of go for it. So the next thing I'm going to use is this Macadamia Nourishing Leave-In Cream. And I don't use very much, about that much, for my whole head. And you can use this right whenever you get out of the shower too on wet hair. But I find that since my hair is so straight, like this is how my hair looks when I dry it pretty much. Um, since my hair is so straight, I find that it works better if I put something like this in dry hair. So now I am going super old school with my little claw clip, sectioning off the bottom part of my hair. So this is the star of the show for this hairstyle. This is the Bedhead Wave Artist. And it looks like this, and then it opens. Um, you can also get the wavers that look like, they basically look like three curling irons just like glued together. You can also use that and get the same type of thing. Um, this one's just all one piece, I guess. Um, and I don't think this was really that expensive, but I know the other ones are not either. So either one is gonna do. And this is pretty simple. All you do is clamp it down on a piece of hair and just keep moving it down. So I like to start in the back. And I just hold it there for a couple seconds. And then just move it down, clamp the next section. And so that's what it looks like. And I try to grab different size sections um, and I try to move it. So that time I did it like upside down. This time I'm going to do it like the right side up 
And you kind of want to watch like where the curve ends and like line it up for the next one, or I do. If you don't and you kind of go over what you just did, like if you, let me show you. So if you take it and you clamp it, and then instead of me going all the way down to where it ended and I just did it like that, it's going to look like smaller, more like crimped. Because that's basically what this is, is a big crimper. And I just, sometimes I hold it like vertical, sometimes I hold it horizontal. Um, the more angles you do it at, obviously, the less, um, the more PC it's going to look in the, and it's not just going to be like one big wave on your face. So once I get the bottom done, I like to section it off as well. So I just take a clip from the top and put it around the bottom. That way I don't accidentally redo certain pieces because like I said, that can then start to look a little crimpy and I don't want that. So I'm just taking the top section down and I've got the back clipped off. This side of my hair is the, my thick side, so I'm going to section it off one more time. This side is really thin, so I can do it all at once, but I'm just going to take like pretty much the front and move it over here. And as you can see, I don't hold it on there very long, and obviously that would have more to do with the thickness of the piece that you're doing, but even for the thicker ones, I just don't. Okay, and then once I get that section, I just do the same thing, and I just take this and clip it back. Bring this section down. When I'm doing the top sections, I don't want to hold it on there as long, like especially, it's okay if you do on the bottom ones if it's a little more curly, but the top you don't want it to be, like you can always go back, which I'm going to show you what I do once I get everything done, like all of my hair through this waver, I'll show you what I do, but I don't want the top to be like extremely wavy, so I don't want to hold it on there too long. Just enough to get it like, you know, beachy waves. Okay, so that is it for the waver. Everything is waved, and like I said, this section is not as wavy, which is fine. So you could leave it like this if you like how this looks, um, but I'm going to go in with my wand now. This is from New Me. Um, they're usually really expensive, but every once in a while they'll have their wands for like $20, $25. So definitely wait if you're looking for a good wand. I like these. I have another one that's not shaped like this, it's just all one width. Um, I just like this one better, I don't really know why. Um, and I take this and just grab random sections and just wrap it around. That way you've got different kind of curls, it looks a little more natural. I've had a lot of people um, ask me if my hair is actually curly. <laughs> because of this, I think. And this is what I use, like if I got up tomorrow morning and wanted to just wear my hair like this again, I would just use this and go over a few pieces to make it like a little more refreshed. Um, I don't grab the waver out again on the next day. Because like I said, I don't wash my hair. <laughs> like maybe twice a week. 
And I do the same thing where I wrap it in different directions. Obviously near the front of my face I want to go away from my face, but once it's like back in this part, I don't care. So once you're satisfied with the way things are looking, then I just take some, you can do hairspray, but I prefer to use texture spray. Um, the bigger the better I am Southern. So I just take this. This is from Garnier. Um, this is the Deconstructed Texture Tees Dry Touch Finishing Spray. And this is like $4. I know there are really expensive versions of this at Sephora and Ulta. And I like those. I like the Dry Bar Triple Sec. And I like the L'Oreal um, Techna Art. I used to have that one. I think I put it in a favorites video. But those are really expensive and this is under $5. Um, so that's what I'm using <laughs> and I just take this and just kind of lift up sections and spray I don't spray this on the roots just in the links and this just gives a hold and some volume and then if you're like me and your roots are very like Flat, you can always take a little teasing brush and just do some sections. Again, Southern Living. I just like this because it's very low maintenance and while it does take a little bit longer to do, <laughs> it lasts me, like these curls will last me for like three or four days. Now, I'm not going to do that this time because this is day three, but if this was day two, I probably would go until like day five to wash my hair again. If you know me in work life also, you know. <laughs> and then again tomorrow, like I said, I can spray more dry shampoo, I can use my curling wand to freshen it up. If you do get like dry ends or you want it to be a little more shiny, you can always go in with an oil. All right. So that completes this hair tutorial. Let me know if you like this kind of thing. I don't claim to be an expert on hair whatsoever. It's definitely not my strong point. Um, but if you like this, maybe there are some other things that I can show you how I do. Um, just let me know in the comments section. And I will have the links to the waiver that I use down below as well as a couple other ones that might be easier to get your hands on because I don't even know where I got that. Um, yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe for more videos and I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye! You know that day one is straight, day two might be straight, might be curly, day three is curly, day four might be curly, and day five is a bun. You know me.